Five people are dead following a Colorado Springs shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub. The nightclub's called Q. Five people are dead and at least 18 are wounded following a mass shooting at Club Q in Colorado Springs, according to Colorado Springs Police Department. Club Q is one of the Colorado Springs' oldest LGBTQ nightclubs, and it regularly hosts drag shows and community events. According to Lieutenant Pamela Castro, the CSPD public information officer, the first calls regarding the shooting at the club came at 11.56 p.m. on November 19th last night. CSPD arrived at 12 a.m., and the suspect, identified as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich, was taken into custody at 12.02. The reason why the apprehension was very quick was because patrons actually stopped the shooter. They lunged at him and, and they, they stopped him, is what I heard from original reports. We know one or more patrons heroically intervened to subdue the suspect. And we praise uh, those individuals who did so because their actions clearly saved lives, said the Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers. This is, of course, if you're familiar with mass shootings in the United States of America, how a lot of mass shootings actually end up uh, stopping, being stopped. Oftentimes, it's not police intervention, but intervention from the immediate people, brave people that throw themselves and their lives uh, and their bodies at the problem are able to subdue, not with guns, mind you, but with their hands. Vasquez cautioned that the investigation is still in its early stages and noted the FBI is already on the scene and assisting with the investigation. We are also working to identify the victims who have died and notify their families. Vasquez reported that at least two firearms were found on the scene and that a long rifle was used in the shooting. Also not very surprising. On June 18th, Aldrich was involved in a bomb threat on the Lorson Ranch neighborhood, according to a news release from the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. The reporting party said her son was threatening to cause harm with a homemade bomb, multiple weapons, and ammunition. Deputies evacuated the neighborhood and over an hour later Aldrich surrendered. According to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, the regional explosives unit cleared both homes and did not found any did not find any explosive devices. Though Aldrich was charged with two counts of felony menacing and three counts of first degree kidnapping, the Colorado Springs Gazette reported that no formal charges were pursued in this case, which has since been sealed according to the DA's office. Why does a dude with this kind of like with this kind of history have access to fucking weapons? Well, of course of course it's gonna happen, you know? The FBI is gonna come out and be like, we were aware of the suspect you know they, that's their the fbi was on our radar is coming incoming okay hot coming in hot just expect it you know it always comes oh shit we knew about this guy fuck oh, thanks man thanks fbi that's very cool suspect arrested in connection to bomb threat that forced evacuations in lorson ranch neighborhood is the same guy who ended up uh you know committing a mass shooting at one of the oldest uh, uh gay bars in colorado springs who is otherwise a uh, which is otherwise a very uh right-wing uh conservative town clearly it's a massive leap to assume that a person who threatened violence and was not punished or shown any type of blowback would ever act on it or feel enabled of course not we would never say that no one would ever say that just like we would never say that uh constantly saying that like gay people are trying to fuck your children they're trying to groom your children they're trying to groom your children by just being gay would ever create some of the most unhinged psychopaths who are going to act out on like violent desires to feel emboldened by and, and give them the additional motivation that they needed to finally fulfill that kind of uh, insane desire. We would never say that. I would never say that just like I would never say that uh, if you fucking were arrested for some crazy shit ahead of time in the past and, and let go without any sort of scrutiny, additional scrutiny that uh, you would you would feel a little emboldened. So hours after a mass shooting in Colorado at an LGBTQ bar, Chaya Rachik, by the way, libs of TikTok, that fucking gigantic piece of shit, decided to double down and go after a Colorado organization that does drag. This is exactly what she wants. Mass violence against LGBTQ people. She is a terrorist. I 100% agree with this, by the way. Like, I, I cannot co-sign this harder. She is. Libs of TikTok is 1 million percent the most brain broken, like, her and Matt Walsh are so fucking insane. And the fact that they, like, are allowed to, to just, uh, you know, keep whipping up uh, uh, anger and inciting anger towards LGBT people is is psychotic to me. I don't know if, like, this person in particular, this mass shooter in particular, was, like, a Libs of TikTok fan, but... I don't care because she wants people like that to keep doing this shit. Like, that's her motivation. There can be no other motivation for this kind of behavior. She is so psychotically obsessed with the existence of, like, gay people and, and queer people in general and trans people that, like, that's all she fucking posts about. Like I said, though, we don't have additional information. Lauren Boebert coming out and, like, saying thoughts and prayers is weird. I'll say it. Like, I don't even know. At this stage... I'm, it's setting the stage for a pretty classic story we've heard time and time again. 
Uh, it could be stochastic terrorism. Psycho right-winger guy finally acts out on his violent desires and violent urges after being instead uh, a healthy diet of insane, psychotic, anti-trans, anti-queer, uh, uh, you know, bullshit from everywhere around. And uh, Lauren Boebert coming out and even speaking out on it is odd. She says, the news out of Colorado Springs is absolutely awful. This morning, the victims and their families are in my pairs. The lawless violence needs to end and end quickly. Yeah, uh, right. She right. Lawless violence. Bitch, you're responsible. Like, you're personally responsible for lawless violence on your own. Even if we don't cover the anti-LGBT element here, okay? Even if, let's say, this was a lover's quarrel or something like that, we don't know, right? I'm not saying that that's the case. The most likely scenario is that it's not. The most likely scenario is that it's, you know, probably a, a, an instance of domestic terror, even though we don't have all the details yet. So even if you eliminate that part of the conversation, okay, even if you eliminate the domestic terror element from this, okay, well, then you're also a psychotic fucking gun nut. You know, this guy was arrested for a bomb threat and he was still able to fucking easily find a gun even if he didn't purchase it himself. So you're doubly culpable in that regard. After Trump elevated anti-immigrant and anti-Latino rhetoric, we had the deadliest anti-Latino shooting in modern history and anti after anti-Asian hate with COVID in Atlanta, Tree of Life, Emmanuel AME with Buffalo, and now after an anti-LGBTQ campaign, Colorado Springs, Connect the Dots GOP. I mean, if it comes out that this person is like, oh God. The reason why I don't think we should rush on, on this narrative, even though it does seem to be the case, is because like, one, these kinds of takes, unfortunately, never work. Like, people just don't give a shit, right? They don't want to recognize their culpability. They want to continue doing anti... Uh, they, they want to continue doing bigoted, agitated propaganda to, you know, whip up their audiences. And then also on top of that, like, I mean, these they're fucking demons on the one side. And also on the other side, like, if it turns out that it's not the case, they use it forever. They're like, they literally will constantly bring it back. It's so fucking... It's so frustrating. Even though there is, like, a direct connection you know what I mean? Here's an eyewitness account with no TOS in the video. I was dancing on the dance floor. Um, I heard shots fired. I thought it was the music because um, there were no screams. There was no help, help, nothing like that. When I realized what was going on, I ran to the dressing room immediately. There was a customer that followed me and there was a drag performer, uh, Delusional, who was in the dressing room. I made them lock the doors and we got down on the ground and cut off the lights immediately. We heard everything. We heard more shots fired. We heard uh, the assailant being beat up by someone that I assumed that tackled him. We heard the police come in. We heard them yelling at him. We heard them saying, check certain people because they're critical. Um, we, we heard everything. And all I can think about is everything, my life, just everything, friends, family, loved ones. I came here to celebrate my birthday. Honestly, I was supposed to be in Denver, but I came back a day early and like, I just, it's sad. The point of terrorism, not saying that this is an act of terror, we don't have all the details yet, but the point of terrorism is to make people feel less safe in, in their you know everyday conditions. That's why I say, regardless of whether or not this was a fucking hate crime and it does seem like it 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 might be regardless of that though like the goal of people like libs of tiktok is to do that it is mind-boggling that like you have an institution that is so openly and so brazenly doing that like you you have a and and you know the guy who owns twitter is like fucking communicating with them like last week Shia Rachek, owner, lives at TikTok, is easily responsible for dozens, if not hundreds, of LGBTQ deaths at this point. And Elon Musk, just a week ago, left them a positive reply. How much longer is she, a terrorist, going to have a platform? How much longer do we have to say that family and friends accepting trans people significantly reduces suicide rates? How much longer do we have to prove that we're just people? How much longer do we will be forced to live in fear to be ourselves? Yeah. Tragically, 300 Americans die of fentanyl poisoning every day in America, and Biden says and does nothing. Tragically, five people were killed in a shooting in Colorado, and Biden immediately demands a ban on assault weapons. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what a fucking monster, dude. I lived in Colorado Springs for years and went to many friends with the Q, Club Q, where the shooting took place. The only person to blame here is the mentally ill person who chose to murder innocent people. Stop politicizing tragedy and allow these families to grieve, you sick bastards. Of course, she's a fucking Babylon B writer, so it's not very surprising.
Details on this from last year. This is from last year. Remember, this was posted on 6.38 p.m. on June 18th, 2021. His mom called in a, 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 a you know bomb threat saying that she, this dude had a homemade bomb. And the cops came in. They evacuated everybody. And they cleared it. They said they didn't find anything. They said they didn't find a bomb. They still, char they still put some charges on him to bring him in. But then they were all dropped by this weird fucking right-wing DA. Okay? Psychotic right-wing DA that has also refused to charge the the murderers of elijah mcclain originally there's not even like any there's no there's no court records on anderson lee aldridge according to colorado according to the colorado uh records which i don't know why they were considering he was 21 when the first charges happened that's really weird that like a 21 year old's like homemade uh, bomb charges and kidnapping of family members charges are, are just fucking sealed we covered this yesterday like a lot of the details but there's new details that have been uncovered since then authorities say the suspect was armed with an assault rifle and another gun and he carried multiple magazines of ammunition glass started just shattering all around me but the city's police chief telling me two patrons charged the shooter they risked their lives they absolutely risk their lives. Heroes, I mean, there's no other word for that, right? Absolutely. Police say the suspect, 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich, had burst into Club Q just after it had hosted a drag show that night. Law enforcement is now investigating the massacre as a hate crime. I wonder which conservative will be the first to say if they don't want to get shot, they should stop doing drag brunch. Because you know it's coming. Leftists are using a mass shooting to try and blackmail us into accepting the castration and sexualization of children. These people are just beyond evil. I have never felt more motivated to oppose everything they stand for every, with every fiber of my being, despicable scumbags. People die and the first thing they think is, yes, we can use this as ammo against conservatives who don't think children should be exposed to drag shows, soulless demons, evil to the core, truly. 43,000 likes, dude. The amount of things I want to say right now about Matt Walsh in general are, of course, uh, you know, not appropriate to say but I'll keep thinking them. The man who led the terrorization of a children's hospital inspired yet another mass shooter's claim to be a victim. Not even a simulation theorist can make this up. Yeah, I mean, he is. He is literally a fucking terrorist. That is it. But because the victims of his terror are some of the most marginalized motherfuckers out there, no one gives a shit. People do not hold considerations for trans people because people, other like even the kindest individuals, even like the most normy uh, take that you're going to get from someone is just like, yeah, they're kind of fucking weird, but like, I don't care, right? That's usually the extent. That's the best you can expect from a lot of people, right? Saying like, I don't care. They should not be uh, getting murdered. I don't really give a shit. Uh, stop talking to me about children's genitals. As we saw in this past election, cycle because the anti-trans narratives were quite literally fucking prominent and it was unsuccessful. I don't know what to say about this other than like, I mean, seeing 43,000 likes on this is, is really sad. It does make me very sad. Like seeing this get so much support makes me very, very upset because he is quite literally responsible for this shit like this, okay? He wants this to happen. Even if he's not directly responsible for this, for this uh, prior uh, uh, potential hate crime here that happened uh, two nights ago, he wants it to happen. That's his goal. That's why he's constantly talking about gender affirming surgeries is like mutilation and things like that. I, I just, I don't know. This sums up how I feel about this. Matt Walsh isn't upset that someone shot up a gay bar. He's upset that more people weren't killed. He has a blood list for the murder of LGBTQ people. He's doubling down on it and wants more of it. Yeah, 100%. He didn't condemn it. And he basically said, keep doing it, by the way. How else do you interpret opposing everything they stand for with every being of my body? Yeah, no, that is what it is. Like the saddest part is like, this is, it's a grift. That's, that's what, that's what's so crazy. Like he has hatred in his heart for trans people sure but the main reason why he's pumping this narrative is because like it works well it says a lot about like the attitude that people have because like he he can get such favorable coverage you can go on joe rogan like this man went on joe rogan like a week ago two weeks ago by the way the colorado shooter was stopped by an army veteran and a drag queen stomping on him with her heels the shooter was beaten so badly they thought he was dead and then the cops actually cuffed and detained the guy stopped them and wouldn't let him go find his wounded family members when the police arrived a few minutes later the gunman was no longer struggling mr fierro said and he feared that he had killed him the suspect in the shooting was taken into custody and remained hospitalized on monday afternoon Mr. Fierro said he was covered in blood when the police arrived and officers tackled him and put him in handcuffs. He said he was held in a police car for more than an hour and screamed and pleaded to be let go so that he could see what had happened to his family. That's what the cops did. The cops didn't protect this community. The community itself protected it. The only thing the cops did was come over and fucking arrest the guy who had actually bravely, courageously stopped the shooter.
Remember that. Richard M. Fierro said he was at the table in Club Q with his wife, daughter, and friends on Saturday watching a drag show when the sudden flash of gunfire ripped across the nightclub. His instincts from four combat deployments as an army officer to Iraq and Afghanistan instantly kicked in. Fight back, he told himself. I don't know exactly what I did. I just went into combat mode, Mr. Fierro said, shaking his head. I just know I have to kill this guy before he kills us. The authorities are holding Anderson Lee Aldrich, 22, on charges of killing five people and say that at least 18 more people were injured in a rampage of the club that lasted only a few minutes. The death toll could have been much higher, officials said on Sunday if patrons of the bar had not stopped the gunman. When the shooting started, Mr. Fierro said he hit the floor, pulling a friend down with him. As bullets sprayed, he saw the gunman move towards the bar, toward a door, leading to a patio where dozens of bar patrons had fled. Mr. Fierro, who served in the Army 15 years, said he raced across the room, grabbed the gunman by the handle on the back of his body armor, pulled him to the floor, and jumped on top of him. Was he shooting at the time? Was he about to shoot? I don't know. I just knew I had to take him down. By the way, this is a very common occurrence. Like, this is literally how most of the fucking shootings end. Like, Unarmed people in the vicinity have a way higher likelihood of ending mass shootings than the cops do. Unless you consider like a mass shooter actually running out of bullets or killing himself to be like a cop apprehension. But remember that. Remember that next time motherfuckers say like, oh man, you know, this is why we have cops. Like they don't do shit. They they care more about their own safety and security than anything else. The gunman who Mr. Fierro estimated weighed more than 300 pounds sprawled onto the floor his military style rifle just landing out of reach. Mr. Fierro started to go for the rifle but then saw the gunman had a pistol as well. I grabbed the gun out of his hand and just started hitting him in the head over and over. He pistol whipped this little bitch boy, by the way. Yeah, no, he was. He was, he, he, I saw photos of him. He's, he's a big boy. The fucking piece of shit psycho who went in to do a mass shooting as the fight continued he said he yelled for club patrons to help him a man grabbed the rifle and moved it away for safety a drag dancer stomped on the gunman with her high heels the whole time mr Ferrer said he kept pummeling the shooter's head while the two men screamed obscenities at each other when police arrived a few minutes later the gunman was no longer struggling mr Fierro said and he feared that he had killed him the suspect in the shooting was taken into custody and remained hospitalized on monday afternoon mr Fierro said he was covered in blow when the police arrived and officers tackled him and put him in handcuffs he said he was held in a police car for more than an hour and screamed and pleaded to be let go so that he could see what had happened to his family. Mr. Fierro, who owns a local brewery, said that on combat deployments of the army he had been shot at and had seen roadside bomb shred trucks at his platoon. His record showed that he was awarded a Bronze Star twice. The experiences of combat still haunt him, he said, and the psychological and physical toll of deployments were why he left the army. Then I never thought he would have to deal with that kind of violence at home. I was done with war, he said. And that's how they ended. New York Times put a, a you know, a, like the patriotic spin to it, but ultimately this dude is fucking badass. Like, a hero real hero shit if he had a gun the cops would have probably shot him for the record okay uh so it's good that he didn't have a gun and he didn't need a gun to stop this fucking monster psycho piece of shit animal he's the grandson of outgoing california republican state assembly member randy vopel the former mayor of santee california also known as clanty by the way vopel represents the 71st district in the san diego area there were calls to expel vopel from the state assembly after he met comments comparing january 6 attack on the capitol to the revolutionary war aldridge's mother laura vopel has written posts praising randy vopel on facebook and confirming he is her father now do i think that like this guy has pull all the way back in fucking uh colorado no i don't think that like some random fucking uh dickhead in in uh San Diego has a uh, like actual pull in, in Colorado. I don't think so. But, you know, it's the same kind of fucking pieces of shit that uh, are in positions of power, both in Colorado Springs and also in Clanty. So there you go. This is Lexington and Concord. First shot fired against tyranny. Randy Vopel, who was defeated in a Republican primary in August 2022, said in a San Diego Union Tribune article three days after January 6th, tyranny will follow in the aftermath of the Biden swear and on January 20th. Vopel later tweeted that he condemned violence and lawlessness. <laughs> Vopel in his office did not immediately respond to requests for comments from heavy. District Attorney Michael Allen said the Colorado Springs shooting is being investigated through the lens of a hate crime, by the way. So uh, there is that as well. And you know, these guys will not look at hate crime as a first motive if they didn't, if it didn't fucking uh, signal that it probably is. Okay.